Hi. In this video, we want to give you some background on our publication on miniature magnetomechanical resonators for wireless tracking and sensing. We present a platform that is able to locate and measure very tiny markers and senders. Very tiny means about a millimeter in size, so small that it's probably hard for you to discern this bright red marker at the tip of my finger. Now, due to the small size, we can easily integrate these markers into small devices. For example, into a biopsy needle. So here we put a marker to the tip of the needle, so we can track its position and full orientation remotely in real time. At the same time, the marker can act as a sensor, so it can pick up a physical parameter, for example, pressure, or in this design, its temperature. Now it's a bit hard to explain the inner workings of such a tiny device, and that's why our team has built this mega magnetomechanical resonator, and our inventor will explain to you all the details of the technology. Now the fun part, a demonstration experiment. But first, let's describe the experimental setup. Here we have the model of the magnetomechanical resonator, consists of a fixed sphere and a suspended sphere. This fixed sphere is magnetized in that direction, the suspended sphere is magnetized in that direction, and the filament is hardly visible, it's very thin. Here in this housing there is a coil integrated for receiving the signal. This coil is connected directly to the oscilloscope. The oscilloscope is triggered by the function generator. The function generator is also connected to this additional coil as output. Our task is to excite the rotational oscillation of the resonator. Simplest way is to do it mechanically, like so. You see here the induced voltage on the oscilloscope, but you also see quite a wobble on the uh, suspended sphere because I not only excited the desired rotational oscillation but also unwanted oscillation modes. So we have to do better. I'll first break it. Use the eddy current break. And then I use this coil connected to the output of the function generator. And if I come close can nicely excite only the rotation oscillation of this resonator and the amplitude is quite stable. This is due to the high quality factor in the very low damping of this resonator. It will take minutes until it has decayed. For our miniature devices the quality factor is also high but due to the higher frequency it doesn't decay in minutes but in seconds. Now we want to use this device as a measurement device. For this we use the distance-dependent resonance frequency. I've set up the function generator that its trigger output matches exactly the resonance frequency of the resonator. So we have in the oscilloscope a very stable picture. Now what we are measuring is me changing the distance by pulling on it. So I pull on the string, increase the distance, and you see the oscilloscope picture is no more stable. So we have changed the frequency of the resonator. We can also crank it up to 11. And then we directly see that the frequency has decreased due to the increased distance of the two spheres. It's boring not to measure real physical quantity, so let's heat it and look at the <coughs> phase shift. The frequency has decreased due to the contraction of the filament in the heat. Filaments contract, not expand with heat. Localization is done in the usual way. We use the 
sensitivity coating. This means we use the strong dependency of the received signal from the coil distance. This is now a received coil. In the paper, we describe an additional twist. This is we can reconstruct not only the position in two angles, we can reconstruct all three angles of the device. And this is done by looking at the double frequency signal our device emits in orthogonal direction. In case you have wondered, the device also works upside down because the magnets attract each other. Now, coming back from our mega sensors to the miniature sensors, in our publication you find the mathematical background from which we derive simple scaling laws that tell us how to shrink the markers from conventionally centimeter size to now millimeter size while keeping a similar level of signal. Now working in the medical field, the application we see is a tracking and sensing platform. For example, to navigate medical devices such as needles or catheters inside the human body, or to track the path of ingested markers for gastrointestinal assessment, or you could even think about permanently implanting sensors for example, to continuously monitor the blood pressure of a patient or to monitor the status of an implanted stent or artificial heart valve over time. We are sure there will be more applications for this technology also in the non-medical field. And to give you some inspiration, we end this video with our tracking of the position and attitude of a flying bee. Thank you.